Cole Strange and a plethora of other players. What are your thoughts on the New England Patriots draft? Well, overall, the AFC West, I thought was really kind of almost high and high and low. Let me get to my notes here for the Patriots. Um, I really kind of thought it was high and low, and I think this was definitely one of the lows. Cole Strange was was a strange pick, that's for sure. But what I will say, the only thing I, w- I will say for Patriots fans is Bill Belichick always does weird things. I've got a friend, his name is Ryan Coolidge. He's from Maine. And he was over here for the draft, and we were all talking, and he was like, man, I hope I hope we do something cool with our first rounder. And I'm like, Ryan, you guys are totally going to trade down. You guys used all of your crazy first round points last year. Bill Belichick spent every piece of first round, you know, drafting he's ever used in his entire life. He spent it all last year. You're not getting anything cool in this first round. I was like, you guys are going to end up trading out of the first round and getting nothing, or you're going to trade down to a later pick in the first round and get somebody that everybody's going to be like, what? And he's like, yeah, probably. And come to find out out of old UT Chattanooga, Cole Strange. So with that being said, Bill Belichick always does weird stuff like this. He always does stuff where everybody shakes their head and, you know, scratches at it. But you know what? The guy has won six Super Bowls. Let me repeat that. Six Super Bowls. I get it. He had Tom Brady. Like, that's great. Tom Brady had Bill. They both, you know, I hate the argument of who was better. They needed each other. They wouldn't have done what they did without each other. They were both 50% of the pie on that one. So he's he's got six Super Bowls. He knows what he's doing. Would I have taken Cole Strange there? No, I probably would not have, and I don't think that was that great of a pick. It was a head scratcher like normal, but like I said, it's a Bill Belichick pick. That's exactly what that is. That's a Patriots draft pick. That's what they do every year. This is just another an, another stepping stone to what they're looking to move forward with. So, Cole Strange goes off the board, and he becomes the first ever Chattanooga player to go in the first round. That was at least pretty cool. What I thought was funny, though, most teams were that were scouting Cole Strange in a, in a, in a press release the next day. Um, I'm uh, Sean Sean McVay. I forgot his name for a second. Sean McVay was talking, and he was like, "Cole Strange off the board, huh?" He was like. I know we were looking at him at like 104. So there were a lot of teams that were looking at him in the, you know, day three time, maybe late day two. So as for that, I it was like I said, it was a little bit of a head scratcher, but like, it's just, it's a, it's a Bill Belichick pick. Next, we look on to the second round. This is, this is really one of like three picks that they made that I liked. Tyquan Thornton, a speedster. I mean, the guy ran a unofficial 4-2 something, 4-2-1, I think, at the combine this year. It ended up not being the record. They brought it back, and he ran like a – it was a 4-2-8, just, just under 4-3. So still lightning fast. I mean, still moving. So Tyquan Thornton out of Baylor, that's an absolute speedster, and I think Mac Jones is really going to love throwing the ball to him. I think there's a lot of potential with Tyquan. I I really thought that there were a lot of teams that could take him in the second round that could really turn out to, to to be a good fit for him, and I think this is one of those teams. So with that being said, I like the second round pick. Marcus Jones in the third round, not a bad pick, solid corner there. You go with another corner in the fourth at 121 with Jack Jones. Pierre Strong, I like Pierre Strong running back out of South Dakota State. Add some versatility to the offense. Now, the big one that I did like that a lot of people kind of shook their head at too was Bailey Zapp, quarterback out of Western Kentucky. Bailey Zapp is – go watch the tape. I I don't even need to tell you. Go to YouTube right now. Look up after the show. Just get on your little YouTube search bar and just look up Bailey Zapp, Western Kentucky highlights, and it'll all make sense. Every bit of this whole situation – will make sense. Bailey Zapp is a baller. He's a guy who is just a great leader. He's great passing the ball. He can run the ball. He's great in the play action. I mean, he, he surveys the pocket really well. So, I mean, all around Bailey Zapp is, is, was very impressive to me. And I thought he was a guy who was in the fourth round that could end up having a job fall to him like Dak Prescott did and end up, you know, being a starter somewhere. I doubt that happens in new England because Mac Jones played so well last year. And on top of that, they picked him with the first round. I mean, you're not going to replace a first round quarterback with a fourth rounder unless if unless if Mac Jones really does that bad this year, which I, I don't think that happens. So now going down here, Kevin Harris out of South Carolina. 
I liked the first running back pick in the fourth. I was a I, I was a fan of that. I liked it. Pierre Strong's a good running back. Kevin Harris is a good running back out of South Carolina. But I was just more confused. I mean, you've already got running backs. I mean, you've got you don't really need to to stack up on this. So I just kind of thought that they didn't really need the running back depth there at that time, and there was somewhere else they could have gone with that. But once again, it is a sixth round pick, so you're really just trying to fill depth at somewhere that you know you can possibly give somebody a couple of snaps for. So same with the whole rest of the way down. Roberts, a decent pick. I liked it. Hines added to the offensive line, and and Stuber added to the offensive line as well. And actually, Stuber, Andrew Stuber is a is a nice offensive tackle out of Michigan. Uh, and, and that was a good offensive line and been a good offensive line for a little bit. So I, I will say that was a nice pickup for them out of the seventh round. This is one of those drafts where I feel like we can't grade it now. You know, obviously I'm going to give you my grade. I'm going to give you my best pick, but this is not a grade now. This is a draft to where five years from now, we're going to look back and be like, hey, that was an A or that was an A draft. That was a draft that nobody thought was going to be good, but it was an A draft and we had no clue. Or they're going to look back and be like, <laughs> Bill Belichick really screwed that up. I mean, really screwed up. It was an F draft. I really don't think there's a middle of the road on this. I think this blows up in the Patriots' face, or I think that this ends up being a hit, and Cole Strange ends up being an all-pro who just no, that nobody expected to be an all-pro. Tyquan Thornton ends up being really good. So I, this is one of those drafts, like I said, at this moment, I'm going to give you my grade, but it's just it's it, this is one of those drafts where you got to wait. you got to see how this – how this goes out for you to even have any slight bit of a clue. Every other team in the league, I could tell you, oh, this is what they got. This was their dra- their draft grade, you know. This and this is the ceiling and the floor of the draft class. And but this class, I I think it's it's home run or strike out. It really is. This is this is going to be an A plus draft class, or it's going to be an F. I I just don't I don't think that there's that middle of the road for this one. So with that being said. My best pick, I'm going to take the second rounder, Tyquan Thornton, wide receiver out of Baylor. Once again, just a just a speedster. Go watch his combine run. He, he ran an unofficial 4-2-1, but it ended up being a 4-2-8. He's just, he's just a dog. He's a fast wide receiver. They can use him in the return game. They can use him in the slot. You can use him outside as a deep threat. I mean, really, you can. he's just a plug-and-play guy on the offense. So really excited to see what, what Bill Belichick comes up with creatively for Tyquan Thornton. Now, as for their draft, I have seen – everything uh on online about how this draft was a c or below i really don't think i've seen unless it was some you know new england sports you know homer company or something like that right then they probably were like oh man billy's figured it out it's an a you know other other than stuff like that fan base biased writings i've i've really just seen c and below and I, I gotta say, I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna hang in the middle on this one because, like I said, I don't, I don't know about this draft. I am just so confused as to what to, what to give them. So, like I said, I'm just gonna hang it a C, and I, it, it, it's either gonna go up or it's gonna go down. It's, it's, and it's, it's gonna drastically go up or it's gonna drastically go down. It's not. 